Okay, five pass. Um, let's begin. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Veni Sancti Spiritus, Repele, Tuorum, Corda Fidelio, et Tui Amoris, in e signem ascende, imite il Spiritum Tuum, et crea bunto, et renavit facem terre, oremos. Mm -hmm. Deus qui corda fidelium sancti spiritus, illustrazione di tutto questi, da nobis in eodum spiritu recta sapere, ed de eius sempre consolazione caudere, de Christum Domnum nostro. Acciones nostras quesimus Domine, inspirando preveni ed adivando prosequere, tu conta nostra oratio et operatio a te sempre incipiat, et a te co epta finiato, a Christum Domnum nostro. Amen. Sancta Maria, ora pro nobis, in omni patris et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, the, I sent out some note, well, I sent out an exercise yesterday, a bit late. Um, I um, wanted to, uh, um, since we did so well, I thought of the translations last week, I thought we'd do translation of something that we are relatively familiar with, namely some prayers in the mass. And, um, there would be some verbs that you're not familiar with and one or two nouns. But I think generally everything else um, would be, you would have come across it sometime or other. And if not, it's something that you can use your uh, imagination, you know, Catholic sense to figure out. So what I propose to do is to go through the uh, prayers um, literally word by word, and uh, I'd like it to be sort of interactive because I'll be asking questions, and you need to tell me um, what the word does, what the word is doing in the sentence. So, is it uh, nominative? Is it vocative? No, is it um, a verb? Um, what is the object? What is the subject? Um, relative pronouns, they're going to appear there as well. And of course the adjectives. So, oh, I, hello. So we, um, that way, I'm hoping that you'll see that we've made quite a bit of progress. Um, although, although it's been like pulling teeth um, and it's been sort of overwhelming, I, I think, um, that, that um, we have in fact made a fair amount of progress and hopefully that will give us confidence to, to continue. So I'm going to begin by sharing my screen, uh, which is here. And um, I'm going to, as I say, pick it up. Okay, so the, the, the idea is that, well, first of all, we read through it and then we go through it um, well, prayer by prayer. And we're going to, um, first of all, look for the verbs because that, that's where we begin. And once we find the verbs, we're going to look for the nominative the subject and then the object and then we fit in the um the uh, adjectives along the way so we'll see how that goes um you'll notice i put asterisks so that is literally grouping the words together so where the asterisk is the words between the asterisks the two asterisks will um you you know that they go together so I'm going to read through the first. Um, 
sushi pay. Remember that each um, let each vowel is carries with it a syllable. So sushi pay, sante pate, omnipotence, eternal days, anki makolatam, ostiam, quam ego indignus amorus tus ofero tibi deo meo vivo edel. Pro innumerabilibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentiis meis et pro omnibus circumstantibus sed et pro omnibus fidelibus Christianis vivis at edifuntis ut mihi et iris proficiat ad salutem invitam eternam. Amen. A long sentence, it's one sentence, um, and it looks horrendous if you try to grasp, grapple with it all at once. So the first thing is to locate the verbs. Um, the first, okay, the first sushi pay is a verb. Um, you would not have come across it, at least not in that form. It's, it's in the, um, a sort of in, imperative. So it's saying do something. So in this case, it's accept. Okay. Let's see where we if we can locate the other verbs. Okay. So sushi so pays one. Um, let me see. Perhaps um, if I can put let me I put these in red. I put the verbs in red. So sushi pays one. Okay. So hanki makulata mostiam kwamego. Right. The quam tells us something is happening. So here is another or pharaoh is another one. That's a verb. Um pro nubiribus, the cat is offensive, pro omnibus, circumstances, pro omnibus, variables, Christianity to the point is what me at it is. Pro Ficiat is another. Okay. So we have in this sentence three verbs. Okay. Sushipe, which means, as I said, except. Or Pharaoh. What does a Pharaoh mean? Anybody? It looks like offer. Offer, right. And it is offer. And what tense do you think it is? Well, what was what person? First person. First person, good. First person, singular or plural? It looks singular. Singular. And the tense? Present tense. Present tense, good. And the verb proficiat. What, first of all, what, um, um, Person? Third person. Third person, very good. Singular, pro? Singular. Singular. And we have an ut here. That ut is a very miserable word. It means a lot of things, all right? So I put it together here. So ut proficiat means that it may be beneficial or profitable, okay? That is a subjunctive form. It's a wish, a desire that something will happen. Okay, so you haven't come across, across it before. That's why I put it there. Okay, so we found the three verbs. If there are three verbs, it means there are three ideas floating around in the sentence. Okay? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we, we begin. <clears throat> so sushi pay, accept. Okay. Accept what would come next? What? Um, declension, sancte parte. So, what would that, what form would that take? What declension? Second declension. Yeah, okay, second. Um, no, well, no, okay, it's not second, parte is. Another one. What, 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 what is pater to begin with? Yeah. Masculine. It's masculine, father. good. Father. father. It means father. And it's 
third declension. Yes? Pater okay. Patris. Pater mm -hmm. Noster. Yes. Pater Noster. Okay. So, Sancte Pater would be? Holy Father. Holy Father. What case would it be? Vocative. Vocative. How do you know? Because we have the Sancte. Remember for the second declension, adjectives and nouns, the vocative carries the E. Otherwise, for all the other cases, it's going to be like the nominative case. Okay? So the fact we have the E there tells me it's an adjective describing Pater, Holy Father, and that we're calling on him. We're going to ask him something. Okay? So accept Holy Father. Next one. Omnipotens, Eterne Deus. Same thing, vocative. It's vocative again. And the, the, the noun is? Deus. Deus, good. And omnipotent and eternal are? Adjectives. Adjectives, good. And they mean? Omnipotent and eternal. Okay, um, okay. all powerful, almighty, omnipotent, eternal. And again, notice that it's eterne, so it's a vocative, second declension. Hmm? We call it, so it's a second case, a vocative case. So accept Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. So the, the, these um, five words in between the asterisks are simply calling on the Father who is God. Okay? So we can put that aside. So accept, Holy Father. What if we going to, if we say accept? What come? What must come next? Accept something. Object. Something. We accept something. So we are expecting another noun. In what um, case? Accusative. Accusative case. Good. So we're looking for a noun in an accusative case, and there it is. Yes? Mm -hmm. Ostiam. E Ostiam is what declension? First. First, good. So it's, and it means? Host, victim. Host, right. So accept, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, host. What kind of host? Immaculatum, which immaculate. is immaculate, immaculate. or? or okay. Spotless. Pure, or spotless, pure, spotless, immaculate, without stain. And Hank. This. 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 Good. And what is what is it? What is it? Adjective demonstrative. Adjective demonstrative. And is it far or close? It's close. close. This the one I'm holding, huh? Yes. So receive. Holy Father, Almighty mm -hmm. Son God, this immaculate, this pure host. Now, what do you think will come next? Quam. That, uh, which? That, that or which? Hmm? Which? Ego. Mm -hmm. Now, that tells me something. Ego is? I. I. Okay. I, indignus. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, that that is in what case? Indignant. Nominative. Nominative, and its declension is? Second. Second, yes. And it's an adjective. So I, famulus, tools. So what's this? Famulus. No, this is a servant. It's a servant. Nine, hmm? nine masculine. Seven. Okay. So nine which, masculine. which I, indignus, dignus is? Worthy. Worthy. So indignus is? Unworthy. 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 Very good. Unworthy. So which I, unworthy servant yours? I, your unworthy servant. Offer all. 
Go for it. So, and it's first person to go of the ego, mm -hmm. which I, your unworthy servant, offer. Next comes you. TV. To you, TV. To you. Agreed? Yes, Father. Okay. To you. And who are you? Deo. So what case is TV? Living on true God. Okay. Yeah, what case is TB? Dative. Dative, right. So it's dative. So we're going to put the rest. We got the TB is going to describe God, which we offer to you. Deo. Case. Dative. Dative, Dative. again. Mayo. Dative. Dative, meaning? My God. My God. Vivo. My living and true God. My living and true God. Okay. So here we have which, or that, I, unworthy servant yours, your unworthy servant, offer to you, my living and true God. So the male, vivo, and vero are all describing God, who is also represented by the TB. In other words, it's like a bucket. I'm offering it to you, who are my living and true God. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back. Pro. Pro is? Four. Four. Okay, now a uh, big, a lot of letters. Inumarabilibus. Pecatis. Innumerable sins and offenses. sins and offenses and omissions. Yeah, omissions, neglects, mayis of mine. Mine. Okay? Yeah. So I'm offering it, I'm offering all this for my, there's my, all the way down here, innumerable, you can see innumerable here. Mm -hmm. Now this ebus means essentially, um, it's okay, you have, so you have pro there. So it's going to take the ablative. Hmm? So it's going yes. to be for my innumerable things, namely sins and offenses and negligences, neglects, omissions, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that's not all, and, and then I have another pro. So I'm offering it for this and for this and for omnibus, well, omnibus is for all, okay? Pro mm -hmm. omnibus, circumstantibus. Stand around. Right, all those standing around. Okay. So Chokum is around, stands, stand, stand, to stand around. For all those standing all around. Here, all here present. Yeah. And for for all those present, yeah, standing around. If they're standing around, they must be present, huh? <laughs> okay. And pro omni, I'm oh, sorry, et said that. Likewise, so and likewise for omnibus again, fidelibus Christianis divis atque defunctis. So, likewise for faithful Christianis, right? Fidelibus Christianis. So, all the faithful Christians, yes, vivis, vivis is. Living. Living. Alive. Yeah. Alive, yeah. And defunctis. And dead. And dead, okay. So let's go through it all one, once more. Accept, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, this immaculate, this pure host, which... Now, if you look for the quam, the quam is describing the host, isn't it? Yes. So it must be it must be feminine. So it's 
palm, it must be singular. Okay, mm -hmm. and on the other side, I'm offering the same thing which I offer. So that it must also be in the accusative. Okay, so, yes. so this immaculate host, which I unworthy, your unworthy servants mm -hmm. offer to you, my God, living and true, my true and living God. Okay, for the un number, the huge number of sins and offenses and neglects, omissions of mine, my, okay, and for mm -hmm. everybody standing around, all present, and likewise for all the faithful Christians mm -hmm. living and true, living and dead. So you often we offer it not only for those at mass, but for all for the whole church, whether they're alive or dead. And so we're doing this. Why? So that that would means there, so that. And we have pro feciat, so that it may be, it may be profitable, it may benefit me. It may be benefit to me. Me is a dative. And to them. Ilis. Yeah. Remember Ile and all of those guys. Ile, Ila, Ile, Ila, and so on. And so be profitable to them. For add towards, working towards. Salutem which is health. yes health or salvation in vitam eternam eternal life eternal in eternal life so go again you try reading it now <laughs> accept accept holy father father yeah. Um, omnipotence. Om omnipotent eternal, eternal God. Right. All powerful eternal God. Uh -huh. This. Accept this. This. Uh -huh. Spotless host. Spotless host. Good. Yeah. Um, Relative uh, one. Which I. Which I. What is so? Indignus, unworthy, unworthy servant, unworthy servant. <laughs> your unworthy yeah. servant, of Pharaoh, I, 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 uh, mm -hmm. TB, to you, to you, okay. and true God, my so living God. and true God, yes, and true God, mm -hmm. oh, my God, living and true, yeah, mm -hmm. pro, pro. For innumerable sins. sins and offenses, sins. yeah, sins, Real sins and offenses, uh -huh. and offenses, yes, and mm. negation, neg neg things that we've neglect. neglected, neglected, mm -hmm. neglected, yes. neglected things, yep, yeah. and pro is that my neglected things? I'm sorry, I saw maize there. No, and all the ne neglected things. Um, it's, uh, yeah, well, it, it's an yeah, ablative. Okay, and it would be, we're offering it for these things. The, uh, if it's neglected, there must be something you neglected to do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Omissions. Omissions, yeah. yeah. Okay. And for... All, everyone here present. Everyone standing around, all present. Mm -hmm. Likewise, for mm -hmm. all, all the faithful Christians, faithful Christians living and living and living and dead. Yeah. That, okay. Mm -hmm. That it may be, it may benefit, it may profit. 
Hmm? That it may profit to me. To me. Uh -huh. It may profit me. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And he is them. And them. Them. Then let's the come. Them. Yeah. For add towards, it, it, it's, it's going to the. Um, towards. Like an eternity. For salvation. Salvation. In life. Eternal. eternal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Father. Yep. Yeah, just have a confession to make, yeah? Yes. You see, I have always found, I mean, I never said it, but you see these cases? Yes. That is what we really need some practice in. Yeah. Okay. These cases yes. are, wow. You know, and I mean, I tried a bit, eh? but it's a little beyond. <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you. No, no, <laughs> I, I, I need, don't forget, I, I, I need your, your help with me as well. <laughs> this is a heads up because we've been, you know, we've just running through it, running through it, running through it. When it's time to do it, you know, and it, it's really, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think someone said so last week. That's why I decided to do this. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you see, here, here we have the translation, accept. O Holy Father, so we add the O, you know, um, because it's vocative. Almighty and eternal God, this spotless host, which I, your unworthy servant, offer to you, my living and true God, to atone, okay, for my numberless sins, okay. offenses. And neglect, ne, ne, neglect since my gosh, ne, ne, neglect <laughs> you know, on behalf of all here present and likewise for all faithful Christians living and, living and dead, that it may profit me and them as a means of salvation to life everlasting. Amen. Um, Father, and um, you was it who just spoke there about about the um, cases the, the yes. cases well I, I i studied latin in school for years so i and we learned the cases we just rattled them off you know um, like dominus domine dominum domini domino domino domini yes. domini dominus domino room dominus so in that case it, so you know at least to me that that helps to um to understand which cases which you know Mm -hmm. When when we learn it that way, so I don't um, if if my brother would um maybe that might help him. Yeah, yes. you, you always seem to get it. Because it, yes. it, I learned I learned from school, you know. I learned this this early part from from school from secondary school. Yes, that's that, that, that's why. Mm -hmm. So that, that way of the, learning the cases has been helpful. Yeah, um. The the, the the problem with that as adults is that you have to rattle them off. It's like <laughs> like learning your tables or your alphabet, you know. Um, whereas what what I what I try to do is to help you recognize the patterns. Um, but uh, but the, as of everything, some people learn things easier one way, others another way. Um. It, it, since you have the tables, because I've give, always given the tables, you can, in fact, learn them by mm -hmm. going through the tables. Um, if you think that that would help. Well, unfortunately, Father, I learn yeah. by understanding. If I don't understand something, that's it. Yeah. You know, I get real I mean, problems trying to, you know, negotiate. Yes. To man, you know, to man, maneuver. Yes. Yes, I must understand. I am the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I need, I need to understand, I need to grasp something. Um, so learning the endings, you can do it from the tables, if you find that. Um, or, um, well, anyway, any other way that, that, that helps. If you can suggest something, I will certainly try and do it. Okay, a second prayer. Sushipe. Mm -hmm. Now this this verb sushipe means a lot of things as well. It can 
it can mean accept or receive or give and so on. So again, it's going to be context. So in this case, it's receive. Um, I have received or accept. So let's read through the prayer first. Sushipe, Sancta Trinitas, Hank, Oblationem, Quam, Tibi, Oferimus, Ob, Memoriam, Passionis, Resurrectionis, Et Ascensionis, Jesu Christi, Domini Nostri, Et in Honorem, Beate, Marie, Semper Virginis, Et Beati, Ioannis, Baptiste, Et Sanctorum Apostolorum, Petri et Pauli, Et Istorum, Et Omnium Sanctorum, Ut Ilis Proficiat, that looks familiar, Ad Honorem, Nobis Autem Ad Salutem, Et Ili Pro Nobis Intercedere Dignentor in Celis, Quorum Memoriam Agimus in Teris, per Eundem Christum Domnum Nostrum. Amen. Amen. Okay. <coughs> so we're going to look for the verbs first of all. Yep. Okay. So you tell me where I'll go through it um, line by line. You tell me where the, what, what's this three? You tell me where the verbs are. Mm -hmm. Which ones do we have? Sushi pay. Okay, sushi pay is a verb. Santa Trinitas, Hank, Oblationem, Quam Tibi, Oferimus. What do you think? Oferimus is a verb, yes or no? Yes. What? Yes. What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oferimus. Notice was Ofero above. Okay. Ob memoriam passionis resurrectionis ascensionis Jesu Christi Domini nostri et in honorem Beate Marie semper virginis. Et Beate Ioannis Baptiste, et Sanctorum Apostolorum Petri Pauli, et Istorum, et Omnium Sanctorum. Uh, I lost myself. Okay. Ut illis proficiat ad honorem nobis autem at salutem. Et ili pro nobis, okay, which one? Proficiat. Uh, proficiat, yes, very good. There, yeah. so put that in red. Et iri pronobis intercedere. 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 That's uh, what. What's its form? Uh, that's you. This well, is. It's infinitive, yes? Yes. To intercede, to intercede. And dignantor is another. Um, it's it's to deign. It's in a, a passive passive form. In Chiris, forum, memoriam, agimus. There's another one. Okay. Archibus. So we give memory, okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's go. So we have had five, well, five verbs. One of them is in the infinitive. The six verbs, three, six. One of them is in the infinitive, all right. So sushi pay, receive or accept, either could you see either could work. Receive or accept, okay. Sancta Trinitas. Okay. 
nominated. Sorry? Okay. Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity. Okay. Yeah. Why is why is it Sancta? Because the noun Trinity is feminine. Right, because Trinitas is feminine. Why is Trinitas feminine? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Yeah. Huh? Which, which declension does it belong to? Not sure. Third third. So it's Maybe third declension, isn't it? Yes. What's a genitive form? Trinitatis. Trinitatis. Good. So why is it feminine? <coughs> Not as, but remember in, in the third in the third declension, we have masculine, feminine. And Newton nouns. Newton. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the for the masculine nouns, mm -hmm. the endings are era. Remember, e r r o r, right? Mm -hmm. And for the feminines, it was socks. S o x. Remember? Okay. Right. Right. So here mm -hmm. we have. So here we have S, S, so that tells me it's feminine. And for the new terms, it was a Lancet. So if it else in L, A, um, N, C, T, C, O, T, C, E, O, T, then we know that it's neuter. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it ends in the S, it's in the, voc it's in the vocative, so it's going to be feminine, that's why it's Sancta and not Sanctus. Right. Right. So re ex receive or accept Holy Trinity. Hank oblationem. Well, receive something. And what is the something being received? The suffering. This oblation. Mm -hmm. This oblation. The oblation is what's being received. And mm -hmm. the, it's been described as Hank. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. This oblation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, ob oblatio is th a third declension noun, isn't it? Oblatio, oblationis. Mm -hmm. Oblationis. And because it receives something, it's an accusative case, and therefore it's oblationem. Mm -hmm. Okay? So receive this oblation. And there's a quam coming up again. Now, oblatio is feminine. Agree? Why? Yes. It's the same rule. Socks, S O X. Third declension nouns ended in O, in S, and O on X are all feminine. Mm -hmm. So yes. this must be quam. Or at least must be feminine and it must be singular because oblation is feminine and singular. Yes. Okay. So which? Okay, of TB, TB is what? To the vocative. Ah, uh, sorry, um, dative. Dative, and it's dative. dative. So it's to you. Of ferimus. <laughs> What's a ferimus? Offer. Oh, yeah, and the we offer. Sorry, who? Which we offer. We yeah. offer. Okay. So which we offer to you. So we're offering something. So it must be the accusative case. It's one. We're offering this to you. Okay. Ob is because. Hmm? So because of memoriam. Memoriam is memoria. Yeah. In memory of. In, okay, in memory of, or because of mm -hmm. the memory of, or something like that. <laughs> but mm -hmm. in, in English, it's in the memory of what? Passion. Passion. 
the resurrection, ascension of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. What form, what case are these? Passionis, resurrectionis, and so on. What case? Non advocative. Hmm? Advocative. Why vocative? Francis. In memory, what's the next word? Of. Of. So of must be. Genitive. Genitive. In no, genitive. Of in memory of the passion. Memory of the passion. Okay. Okay. That's mm -hmm. why it's onis. So it's passio in the nominative and the genitive passionis in memory of passion. In resurrection, the same thing. Et and ascensionis, same thing. Of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so Domini Nostri must also agree with Jesu Christi. So that's why all of these from here, well, from here, passionis, right through to Nostri, all in the genitive case, in the memory of the passion, of the resurrection, of the ascension, of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Okay? Yes. And, et, and in honorem, honor, in honor, mm -hmm. honor, okay, good, honor. Now notice here that we had, um, uh, what is it? Um, Okay, we were off. We we are offering also in the honor, Beate Maria. Is enough. Blessed Maria. Blessed Mary, in honor of Blessed Mary, semper, always, always a virgin. Okay, so again, it has to be virginis because Beate is genitive, Maria is genitive. So that also, gen, uh, virginis must also be genitive. In honor of Blessed Mary of a Virgin, et Beati, Johannes, John the Baptist. Which case? Genitive also. Genit oh gosh, genitive mm -hmm. again. Okay, and it's Johannes, it's a genitive form. And it's Beati, why is it Beati? Masculine. Masculine. But why? Because John the Baptist. Because John is masculine. A man. He's female. He's right. male. Yeah. Right. And what about Baptiste? Why? What? What? Um, declension is that? First. Hmm? First declension. Good. And it's. It's, gen its gender is feminine. Masculine. No, okay. <laughs> okay, what? it has it has a feminine form, but in for the first declension nouns, if it refers to a man, okay, it must be masculine, even though its form is feminine. Okay. <laughs> So that's why Beati is masculine and Johannes is masculine. Baptiste, even though it has a feminine form, it is masculine. By the way, we have some gender problems here. <laughs> oh, Lord. And, and, wow. and, the, and who else? Sanctorum Apostolorum Petri Pauli. So, Sanctorum um, Apostolorum is? Simply Apostles. Yes, of the Holy Apostles. Gender? Peter, Peter and Paul. Right. And it's, it's um, case, it's cases? Genitive also. Genitive, right? And it's singular or plural? 
plural with this plural. 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 plural because I have two of them, Peter and Paul. So it's of the holy apostles, Peter and Paul. Okay. If I wanted to separate them, I'd have to say Sancti Petri et San, uh, Sancti Pet, sorry, Sancti Petri Apostoli et Sancti Paul Pauli Apostoli. Okay, I'd have to separate them. So, that, but if I keep them in the together, then I use the plural form. So, Sanctum Apostol, <clears throat> Sanctorum Apostolum refers to both Peter and Paul, and then the others who follow. And here are the others who follow. Et Istorum, which is all of these others. Yep. All of these. Those are the ones close by. And all, Omnium, again, Omnium is all, of all the saints, Sanctorum, again. Mm -hmm. So, Ut, here we are, this Ut Proficiat again. <laughs> that it may profit, it may benefit to the honor, to their honor, Elis, yep. <clears throat> So this is a, um, a, a, a ablative, yeah? So we profit to the honor of them, to them. Nobis and us for salvation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And be worthy to deign, to deign, to, so that it will, oh gosh, so it will, they may, they may deign to intercede for us. So they, that is Ely, will deign to intercede for us. Deign, intercede for us in heaven. In heaven. Okay. Why, whom, those whom we give we, we recall their memory on earth. So Achimus is to um, uh, to give memory or to call together the person's memory. Um, gracias Achimus Tibi, we give thanks to you. Achimus is to give. So we give their memory on earth. So it's essentially saying, we, we, we ask you to receive this offering um, in honor of the saints, Peter, Paul, Our Lady, and so on, and their intercession for us will be beneficial as we remember, as we call them to mind. Okay. Okay. Gosh, that, um, let's see what we have here. So if, so if all I do is just Change that into black. There it is. So, okay. So receive or accept. You see, either word could work. Yeah? Either word could work here. Yeah. So we could say receive or accept O Holy Trinity. Okay. This oblation, Ancoblationem, which we offer. To you, okay, which we make to the in the memory. So I, I just copied this from the um, missile, which we make to, which we offer to you, on account of or in memory of the passion, of the resurrection, and of the ascension of Jesus Christ our Lord, and in honor of the Blessed Mary ever Virgin and of Blessed John the Baptist, and the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and of these, is they, these are close by, the saints are close by, and all the saints, okay, that 
it may bring honor, it may prop honor to them and to us, them, and to us salvation. And may they, and let's go all the way down, and may they whom we commemorate, whom we remember on earth, intercede for us in heaven. There's this now, actually, just re reading that again, um, it's very interesting. Um, and perhaps I mentioned it on Sunday. Um, when you compare the two prayers, because the first one is for the offering of the um, host. host, and the second one is the offering of the chalice. Okay, um, yeah. let me go up a bit. And look at this, I, I've just noticed it. Um, we are praying here, we're saying that it may benefit all those faithful, sorry, um, all those standing close by. Yes? Mm -hmm. Omnibus circumstantibus, all those standing close by. And here, look what I'm, it's, it, the prayer is saying. Um, uh, where is it? So we have all the saints here. Um, sure, I saw it. Uh, yeah, the, the storeroom here. And all the saints who are close by. Yeah? So these are the ones that are close by, the storeroom. And these are the people who are present, omnibus circumstantibus. And here, all the others, and here we have an all the others living and dead. So th this is perfect balance between the two. And what are we asking? That it will profit us for salvation in eternal life, and that it will profit us for salvation and will bring them honor. And we, in fact, we did have honor up, up above in the prayer for the host. This is really amazing, the, the, the balance in even in, in, in the prayers uh, for the offering of the host and the and the, the chalice. Yes. <clears throat> symmetry between two prayers. Say that again. I said so there's symmetry between the two prayers. Yes, 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 there is. No, one's for those on earth and the other's for those in heaven. That you also see that same, a similar, that same symmetry before and after the consecration. You know, you have the, the, um, the, the prayer for the living and then you have the prayer for the dead after. Same kind of um, symmetry. Okay, it's six o'clock. I thought um, mm -hmm. I, I, you had time to go. Second, I'll leave the others for you, for you to try out. They're short, so it shouldn't be too much grief. Um, so the first thing we do, find the verbs, then find the subjects, singular plural. Then we find the objects, and then we look at the adjectives. Okay. Um, uh, six o'clock. Any questions on that before we end? Okay. Thin silence. It was, a very, it, was a, it was a very enjoyable session. <laughs> yes, it was indeed. Yes, Father. So the question then, do you think you've learned something? Yes, Father. Good. Yes. And it, it, it's good when we when, whenever I'm um, reading the prayers now, you know, for like um uh you know the readings for the day and so you sort of try to look to see what you learn in class and you could sort of associate I might not know everything or understand everything mm -hmm. but I'm seeing 
the, the little things that I'm learning. So, yes, yes. Oh, good. That, that's good to know. All right. Um, I have, um, as, as, as I told you, um, a few weeks ago, I've been assigned to the cathedral. And so I began this week. And it's been quite um, tough work, uh, trying to balance, trying to balance everything. So it's a matter of okay. finding a um, pattern. Um, so well, congratulations in order, Father. Hmm? Sorry? Congratulations in order. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm a system priest, so I haven't, I haven't got into the cathedral, I guess. Um, but what um, Christmas is coming, it's just a month away, well, less than that now, it's three weeks and a bit. Um, I, I know that, well, next Thursday next week is the 8th, which is the patronal feast. Our cathedral is the Immaculate Conception. So mm -hmm. I'll have to attend, especially as I'm now a uh, member of staff. So I won't be able to have class next week. And after that is St. Lucy, which again is the national feast. So um, I'm proposing that we um, leave class off until the new year, give you an opportunity to um, refresh, regroup, uh, revise. Um, so if we end here, if we end today, what, what I'll try to do is to send some exercises like we just did. Okay. Um, yes. But we won't have any formal class. And uh, yes. I deliberately didn't introduce anything new. So when we come back in the new year, um, we, we, we could have a revision of uh, everything. And then we'll go into the past tense, which is the second part of the, the, ver the verbs which we haven't touched. We've only dealt with the present. Okay, so the present, the immediate past, the imperfect, and the future. So we're going to do the same thing for the past tense. Um, okay. And it should be easier. And then we have to pick up the, the, the passive voices. So, but we'll, if we can do some exercises um, in, in the meantime, it will certainly help. Um, um, yeah. Father, thank you yes. very much. If, if you can um, give us some examples to better understand the cases. Okay. I think that's, that's you know, that would be a, a great help. Okay. To, uh, just to understand the cases, uh, you know, it, it escapes. <laughs> it escapes me. Okay. I've been trying. I'm not oh, trying oh. hard enough, but, you know, I need something there, please. Okay. All right. Um. I'll do that. Yeah, because um, the cases are fundamental to everything else. Yes. Um, so that that be the cases for all five um, uh, declensions. Yeah, yes. that's um, good solid examples that we could work with. Okay. All right. Please. Okay, we'll do. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, everybody else happy? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, okay. Yes, okay. All right, then we can um, end with um, what, the Angelus. It's, it's six o'clock. So I uh, wish you a happy feast for next Thursday. Got train that yes. also. Your, you, is yes. your cathedral yes. also yes. Yes, 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 yes. I thought it was. Okay, so happy feast again as we end with the Angelus. Thank you, thank you for Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry, oh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Angelus Domini Nunciavit Maria. Ave Maria Grazia Plena. Dominus Tecum Benedicta Tu, Mulieribus, the Benedictus Fructus Ventus Tu, Jesus, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Ora Pro Nobis, Peccatoribus, Non Peccatoribus, Mortis Nostri.
Hechel Chile Domini, y a ti se cunde un producto. Ave María, gracias a Pena. Domini, se cunde un producto muy de alegros. Benditos por tus ventos tu vida. Thank you, Maria Mata, the oil of the Lord, the Holy Ghost. No, for the Lord, what is most real. The Bible, our partners, and the Bible, the Lord, is the Lord. Ave Maria, gratia, pena, Dominus, the Lord. Benedicta, the Lord, the Holy Ghost. Benedicta, the Lord, the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Maria Mata, the oil of the Lord, the Holy Ghost. No, for the Lord, what is most real. For the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, Potete e diciamo che i suoi voti sono Grazie a tutti, questo è il nostro nome, e anche questo è il nostro secondo. Potete, Angelo, non si anche. Questi figli sono in generazione in forno di per le passioni segni e tutte le resurrezioni sono le educate. Per questo è il nostro nome. Benedicta ad vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Benedicamus Domino. Deo, gracias. Deo, gracias. Deo, gracias. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you very much, Father. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much, Father. Right. And we won't talk about it on Sunday because of um, our um, diocese. But yeah. the following Sunday, I'll again end the the um, uh, the, the catechesis on the mass. Okay. Uh, I just want to finish off the prayer for the offering of the chalice, and then we'll continue from there in, in January. Okay. Right. There's no class Sunday, but the following there will be. Okay, yeah. Father. Yes, thank you. All right, thank everyone. Thank you. Have a blessed thank evening. You too. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yes, right. Bye, everybody. Yes, right. Bye.